got a nick on them already, man. That just kind of irritating, but. Looks good. That bracket look like it's new out the factory. Think I may be losing my mind. Oh, I already lost it. Already lost it. Damn, I may be losing my mind. Now don't tell me that I lost it. That I lost it. Alright, so since I got new foot pegs coming, before they even get here, they might be here tomorrow, matter of fact. I want to clean up the housing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take it off, get all the rust off. I'm going to strip the paint of the blacket and just uh, rattle can spray it. A couple coats so it at least look clean. Get the new uh, foot peg on there so it's you know nice and icy. We're going to get that done. The new one's going to be like a black anodized with some the removable tips that you can, you know, interchange out so might try to find some gold tips that go on there and make it look good but that's what we doing let's get this thing off and get the new one on that soon okay there it is that was a lot harder to get off than it should have old foot peg get rid of that get some Different. This is the old, not the old hardware. Hardware before I get it cleaned up. Soak it in vinegar overnight. A little baking soda. Use my citrus paint stripper. Forgot the name of it, but it's the hardware's. Let that soak in the vinegar overnight too. It's gonna clean up nicely. Strip the paint, repaint it. Get the new foot peg on there. Let's go take the other side off. All right, here's the left side hardware. I used the same technique for the front one, for the first one, hammering out the cotter pan with a hammer, literally, because this little joint is pretty tough to get out. But here's the hardware. Little rust marks, little crusty, dusty. Um more of the hardware <coughs> this actually looks a little crustier than the other side we gonna get it all cleaned up freshened up though can't have the new foot pegs looking like looking shiny with the crusty hardware so this is in a little container and get it soaked overnight. Let's do it. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Chemical reaction. Like the old science experiments of the volcanoes in grammar school. Let it, let it do its thing overnight. Come back in the morning. Legal. Okay, so the new foot pegs came in today. Let's check them out. KKE Racing. 
kkeracing.com. I actually got these off the bay. Found these on eBay for $45. Yeah, forty-five dollars somewhere around. We got some extra spikes in there. Don't want to lose them. Let's see if I can find some gold ones. I think that'll look real good. Some gold, whatever these things are called. Let's compare them. The new to the old. Oh, these do feel like some nice quality. They are, hold on. They're lighter than the older ones but a little nicer those are worn down a little bit they're wider than the OEM ones as you can see actually that one <laughs> yeah but wider should fit on there just right but gotta get the old hardware cleaned up repainted so we can get the new foot pegs on there so I can go riding man but let do it let go this is what the water, I mean, vinegar looks like sitting overnight. Kind of see some flakes of rust. Can't really see hardware. But get that poured out so we can really get a good look at it, get it rinsed off, and then we got our. Citrus strip, stripping gel to get the old paint off the hardware and you know repaint it with uh Stolium gloss. I usually use the I would have used the dupli color, but it went from $7.99 to $14.99, literally doubled in price. This used to be three dollars and it's now six dollars. <laughs> Inflation is crazy right now, but to do what it do you're gonna use the cheaper stuff but it's gonna work fine let's get it done take a look at the hardware before I take a wire brush to it and get all the rust off basically loosens up the rust is what the vinegar does and it's gonna come right off now I want to wrap for the weekend but I would have left it in for like two three days and rust where they literally fell off but pretty much you leave it overnight it's gonna easily come off with a wire brush but as you can see spring cleaned up real nice but take a wire brush to everything and get it real cleaned up let's do it all right before i strip the bows down i mean the hardware down. I just want to get a look at it. Look how clean it is now. No more rust. Just paint. Chip paint. Reason why I rusted probably mainly because of the paint chip is the rest of the hardware. As you can see, 
Um, I just lube this up just so it can prevent rust, but it's all cleaned up. Those rusty springs are rusty no more. Even the bolts. So you can see. Are not crusty anymore. Last look before I paint them. Left side, right side, got an L, got an R on it. Okay, after about, what, 10 coats, maybe? 10 coats. These look like brand new OEM, maybe even better. Sheesh. Look at these. Now these joints turned out, man. Look at them compared to the anodized. Sheesh, they're gonna look good together. Got a nick on them already, man. That just kind of irritating, but. Looks good. That bracket look like it's new out the factory. Next to the crisp shiv lever. I have to make some adjustments to that. But it look good, tell you that. Other side looking like that's what it's looking like. Brand new. We riding today is Saturday, popping out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> 